Hey friends, Phil Mintry here and welcome to today's video, part two of branding yourself with domains. Yesterday, I created a video on how to brand yourself using domain names, using your first and last name .com and installing your WordPress blog on that domain. And further going, every time when you publish a post and before you put your content, I explained to you to put by your first and last name so that every time when you publish a new, publish a new blog post, your domain name gets, gets indexed as well as your name in the blog post. So not only is your first and last name .com getting indexed, your first and last name is getting indexed in each post. I also further went on saying that if your first and last name .com was not available, you can always use from the desk of firstlastname.com. So now, as what we're going to do today, I showed you how to how to do that brand yourself with the firstandlastname.com. Now what we're going to do, as you know, I purchased philipmutry.com and this is a secondary blog to my blog that I've had for over seven, almost seven years, which is philmutry.com. But I'm going to show you how to install WordPress on your blog as well as put a theme on there and have your blog up and running in less than five minutes. Actually, it'll be a lot less than that. But we're going to install WordPress. It's going to take less than 60 seconds. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to log into the hosting account. And in this case, I'm using HostGator. And what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way down to, uh, let's find it here, Fantastico Deluxe. Some C panels have what they call Simple Scripts. So Simple Scripts is the upgraded version of Fantastico. So let's go into Fantastico Deluxe. And same as Simple Scripts, what we're going to do is on the left hand side, we're going to select WordPress. And we're going to go New Installation. And we're going to select the domain that we want, in this case, philmutry.com. We don't want to put any directory because we want it sole directory as philipmutry.com. Um, administrator username, we'll just put um, admin for right now. And password, we'll just put, uh, just, put just a default there that I can change la later. And let's go admin nickname. I'll just put admin as the nickname. And let's just uh, go. And for the site name, we're going to go philipnutri.com. And we won't put any description. We'll just go ahead and install WordPress. And now we're just going to go finish installation. So now we're at what five seconds of the installation now and voila our WordPress is installed and let's just go to here we'll copy this uh, we'll go to the uh, WordPress admin to log in actually if we go to philipnutri.com this is what we see. We have just a default blog here. So let's just go admin. Let's log in with our temporary password. And we're in the back office. Let's go down to appearance themes. And we're going to go install theme. And we'll upload and browse for a file that I have, a theme that I have. Uh, let's see. Review theme, and we'll go install. And let's go activate the theme. And one thing that I notice here is if we go to the dashboard, um, the there's a new version of WordPress available. So let's go ahead and we'll update that and go update now. If you have other plugins installed on a blog and you're wanting to update your WordPress, by all means disable, deactivate all of the plugins first. Because by deactivating them, you you take away the risk of blowing up your blog. If you've ever blown up a blog before, in normal cases, it's because you've had plugins enabled. So always deactivate your plugins and then reactivate them, reactivate the ones you deactivated after you update your WordPress. 
So now if we take a look at, uh, if we ref refresh Philip Mutree, philipmutree.com, now what you see is we already have a blog up. And that is definitely less than five minutes. So now what we can do is we can go into the back office and we can now start configuring our blog the way we want it to have a look and the look and feel, which usually takes less than a half an hour. You, you can you can set up your WordPress you can set up your WordPress back office the way you the way you like it to look on your domain just by just by going into the widgets and the settings and fix them up and set them up the way you want them and away you go. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you see a link below, uh, definitely click it. You'll get more information on me and how I can help you succeed online, uh, as well as find out information on how you can receive mentoring from me for online business and success. If there's a opt-in box down below where you can insert a name, an email address, or just an email address, by all means, enter your email address email address in there and you'll get you'll get consistent follow-ups on different tips on how you can succeed online. I look forward to seeing your success online and I look forward to working with you personally and teaming up in partnerships in the in the near future to come. Talk soon.